All right, today on Everything Bagel, this uh, Twitter clip was sent to me. Someone said, yo, Shinde. I was like, yo. And they're like, what are your thoughts on uh, destination weddings? And I was like, yeah, you know, you know me. I don't really have thoughts on anything, but I'm more than willing to give thoughts when asked. So for those who don't know destination weddings, especially to Mexico, are huge within the Punjabi community in the GTA. People love going to Mexico and getting married there and just, you know, doing the whole nine yards. There we go. Okay. So yeah, Mexican weddings in our community are huge these days. And people are starting to take a pause with them. They're like, hold up. And Amritalis, I think for the most part, have kind of raised this attention, raised this issue a few times saying, listen, man, isn't it kind of wild that we're going all the way to Mexico, taking Mara's troop there and doing it in another cottage on a beach? Like, sure, you get great photos, but there seems something off about it. And everyone was like, yeah, it's always been, ah. uh, you know, I think people recognize that it's probably not the greatest of situations to be doing, but it's kind of been a third blind eye to it. It's nodding like, okay, whatever. Because everyone will kind of like, but, you know, we get a Mexico trip out of it. We get to go hang out on a beach and yeah, we get to go see a wedding too. Um, and they got really popular lately over like the last, I want to say decade, which is a long time means it's been more than popping from right. Uh, and they got popping for a reason. It's so hard to get Gordota time here. so hard to get reception hall time here that it's so much easier to just be like, yo, we can book this Mexican resort. They're free when out almost whenever we want. You know, it doesn't even have to be on a weekend. It could be whenever almost the weather's going to be great for the most part. Um, and it also has another benefit, which is you don't have to invite near as many people. So if you're getting married here, there's the whole politics of, yo, you know, I met that guy once down, you know, a week ago or a few months ago, I should probably call him because he's connected to him. If I don't call him, it's going to, so there's all this, like that guest politic. And I guess you could call it that happens with weddings that you don't have to deal with when you go to Mexico. Cause it's just like, look, one, people aren't going to be offended if I don't invite them. Or two, if I do invite them, the odds of them being like, yeah, yeah, we'll go if I'm not paying for everyone's hotel. You know, if I say, listen, man, you guys, everyone's got to grab their own hotel and everything, or we'll cover, we'll cover hotels, but everyone has to cover their flights. You know, once you throw that in, you filter out a big chunk of your guest list automatically. So for people who are like, either have way too many people that they just don't want to offend and don't want to really bring out to a wedding here, it's an easy way to get around that, right? But this was a podcast. I don't know what the podcast this was. It was the Dream Chasers pod. And they talked about it here. I think these guys are some Punjabi kids. Let's see what they had to say. In Mexico for a wedding, a lot of Punjabi people do beach weddings in Mexico. The white people are still on the beach because... Yeah, see, this is the thing people are kind of like... I can't even... It's just like you're having this wedding. And in the pictures and the videos you see, you see nobody. You just see, you know, the bride and groom. But really, it's a whole spectacle of like just everyone just kind of watching you from afar. A bunch of gore watching like a zoo. We're still on the beach because it's not like blocked off or anything. So they're literally walking by the thing down near beside it a couple meters away. And like fucking half naked people. Uh, and on the side where the beach chairs are, everyone's just fucking sitting watching us like we're a zoo and shit. And then my cousin's like, yo bro, these guys probably think like some Arabian prince is getting married yeah. or some shit. These goddamn shit's getting packaged, man. What the fuck are they all doing in Mexico? In Mexico for a wedding. Yeah. So yeah, these guys kind of opened that debate and good for them to bring it up. And I know plenty of people who've kind of done weddings in the past on beaches and at in Mexico specifically. Everyone's kind of like, now I think it's gone to the point where everyone's just a little bit like, okay, 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 yeah. Let's reel it back maybe. But so I know for Amritaris, it's kind of like, if you're doing it, you get, people will talk you out of it. Uh, with just a big thing of, you know, you can't be taking Mara Stoop there. But it's still kind of popular within the community, I think, just because, like I said, the timing and stuff. You, as in the Granthi, allowing the Grant sub to be present is the root of the problem. But Jubby weddings have become dumb ego contests all about aesthetics. I feel like people from the UK and like elsewhere aren't, this isn't near as much of a thing ever. All for destination weddings, as long as the Nankara just stays in the Gordora. I mean, well, then is it really a destination wedding? There is no, oh, go to a Mexican Gordora, I guess. Yeah, you could do that. I've never understood why people get married on the beach. Imagine sand. Yeah, see, this is where I'm kind of at. It's like, you know, getting sandal up in your clothes and shoes is annoying as hell. 
Only way to stop this is by naming the people that do this and shaming them and their families publicly. They should have some shame taking the guru to a beach and having their nun cottage with naked onlookers. Go get a court marriage and hit up the strip club after instead. I don't know if you need the strip club parts necessary, but yeah. When you stop concentrating on gurus and gurubani and gurbani and start paying more attention to the gora and gurbani. <laughs> wow. Look at this guy's wordplay. Sticky is under attack from right, left, center, right wing, lindus, libtards. Wow, this guy is just going on in everyone. And our very own diaspora. This shit needs to end. <laughs> of course, there will be those in the community that will defend us with excuses such as modernism and progressivism. Eh, don't think I've ever heard of that. While claiming these, those go against Biyad to be as backwards individuals being a Taliban. He said, God is more important than your fairy tale wedding. Ah, uh, yeah, anyways. The thing that everyone kind of calls out, they're like, look, man. The one thing that I think about is like, there's only one Kranti and one Jatha that I know actually doing this. There was another notable uh, Kirtani who went to uh, a prominent six, another cottage that was happening on the beach. I'm not going to say, it. I mean, it was Jigmeet. What the hell am I hiding? It was pretty public. Jigmeet got married on the, got married in Mexico. I don't know the details. I don't know what type of Sadhgar or stuff was going on. I don't know if people were on looking or if they shut that thing all down and stuff. But, um, I just done got it. She brought a very famous Kirtani down. And then that Kirtani kills it. He was one of my favorite. He is still one of my favorite Kirtanis. But the Jatha that he was a part of, he was part of a kind of Kirtani Jatha. And when they found out, yo, this guy was doing Kirtan at the Jatha, at the wedding on a beach, they're like, or I don't even know if he did Kirtan. Just him going was enough for them to be like, yo, you're cut, cut him off the roster. End of his stage time, internationally, it seemed. So I feel like within six Sangat, this is something that it has been taken pretty seriously um and like i said it hasn't always been taken seriously but i think there has been as people have become more and more aware of what's going on they've taken it a little bit more seriously so much so that i think no grunty does it or is willing to take do it that to this point to get it done there's just like this is one only person i know i think and it's the same one for every wedding Sick wedding Ancun. I think his name his name is Freedom and Lila. It's him and his wife. They do both a kirtan and they do the Anand Cottage. We have made our sick wedding in Cancun simple and concise as professional destination sick priest Cancun Mexico celebrants. We collaborate with esteemed sick wedding planners and vendors working on So yeah, and I think people have like Jathe Bandiya have reached out to him saying, listen man, we gotta chill. And he's just like, no, no, no. I think he's been very from what I've read and know is they're just like, look, we celebrate love. And for us, we think this is important, but I also heard, and I think this is an example of it is they don't take the full Mara Sarup no more. They do the Lavan, they do, uh, they read the Anand Karaj. They read the Anand Karaj, they read the Lavan, they do the Anand Karaj, but they do it now with like a, a stick, not full Mara Sarup. So does that negate what you know, you even getting married at that point because you're not even bringing your guru to your wedding at that point. You're like trying to work around it. This guy's page is always, <laughs> we'll do a personalized ceremony because our uniquely bilingual ceremony style, profoundly personalized, meaningful and spiritual, containing all the elements of the Sikh tradition. Your Indian wedding at Moon Palace Cancun or elsewhere. I like how Moon Palace and him probably have something going on. Read our Google and Facebook reviews. I'm not even here trying to call out these guys because it's... I don't know. We have been offering our Cancun. I, this is like tailor made. Look at that. Five stars, five stars, 4.8 on Facebook. So I don't think there's an end in this really, but at the same time, it's got to start here. Start and stop with like the Granti and Kirtanis from attending because then you get rid of that. Now they have no way to do the Lama and do the Anand Karaj and that kind of kills it too. And for me, it's not so much like people should be allowed to kind of, I'm not like anti do nice weddings or do a wedding outside of the Gordora if you're so keen to, if you want to do an outdoor wedding or something. But something about the whole Mexican thing, I think is played out. And I think we need to recognize that, like even in these pictures, look at all the onlookers in the background. So you can't really get rid of all the stuff, but that's kind of, and I feel it's a big Canadian thing. I don't know too many places else. I feel like Americans and I know Englandies aren't. That's like a, what, a 15 hour flight for Englandies? They ain't down with that. So just something we as a community need to work out 
work better at it and stop it. That's my thought anyways. But by all means, get married wherever else you want to get married. Ain't no one stopping it, right? Oh. What's up, Above it? Above it, are you going to get any? I heard you're getting a destination wedding. I'm here to tell you not to. Stop the trend. 